You're the vice chair of your school's PTA. The PTA is a group of parents and teachers who organise events and fundraisers to raise money for your child's school and to bring parents, teachers and members of the community together in support and celebration of the school. Last year, your child's primary school, Blooming Good Primary, held a summer fair. Not many parents showed up, but those who did had a great time, apart from the poor little boy who burned himself on the barbecue. There were donkey rides, football, ballroom dancing, and there was food from all different cultures, Somali, Polish, Sudanese and Turkish, to name a few. This year, the PTA is more strapped for cash than usual, and a few members have suggested cancelling this year's summer fair altogether. Other members feel strongly that the summer fair is an important event in the school calendar that brings the community together. To help the PTA make a decision, the Chair has asked you to write a report about last year's summer fair. You were closely involved in organising it and were the first to arrive in the morning and the last to leave at night. In your report, the Chair has asked you to write about the advantages and disadvantages of holding a summer fair and to give your recommendation about whether the school should hold one this summer. Luckily, you learned about writing reports in your Functional Skills English course and you know that the first thing to do is to plan out your report. And that's what we'll do now. And of course, you'll know to begin at the beginning. At the top of the report, you're going to write a title. Something short that explains what you've written, in this case a report, and what it's about the summer fair. Next you'll write your introduction. This will briefly explain what the report is about and why you're writing it. This will help to prepare the people reading it for the information that follows and help them decide whether they want to read it or not. One paragraph should be more than enough for your introduction. Next, the middle or main body of the report. Here we'll have the advantages of the summer fair. You'll include things like how lovely it was that the old people from the retirement home over the road joined in with the ball dancing. To make it easier to read, you're going to list the advantages in short sentences and use bullet points. You don't want your readers to have to search through the report looking for the important information. You want to make it easy to find. You're going to organise the disadvantages in the same way. Short sentences in bullet points. You'll talk about things like how few people attended, that the school actually lost money and of course mention that poor boy who burnt himself because the risk assessment wasn't carried out properly. It's a good job he's fine now. Now you're coming to the end of the report and you need to give your recommendations. Should Blooming Good Primary School hold a summer fair this summer? You know to start this sentence with the words I recommend. Finally, you're going to write a conclusion. This is a sort of fancy way of saying goodbye and summarises what you've written about in your report. Bingo! Your report is now all planned out and ready to write. Well done! <laughs>